Yo, what's going on guys, I'm back with another video and today I am on Impurity X 667 which is a brand new custom 667 RSPS. Now I'll be going over this server in just a few minutes, I just first want to announce a Twisted Bow giveaway. Now all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. Also make sure to turn on notifications so you get a notification of when I upload a new video. But anyways, let's get into the video. Alright, so when first creating an account, you actually can uh, pick your game mode by clicking on the um, bulbs right here. As you can see, you'll get the description and a start kit. You have the uh, master setup, you also have a pure setup, and you can also get a skiller setup. Um, also the Iron Man mode, you have the standard Iron Man mode, which is the only one at the moment. But they will be making the hardcore and the ultimate Iron Man mode pretty soon here. But yeah, mostly people just take the... Um, master one anyways moving on to the actual teleports as you can see you have the portal right here and then you have this custom interface which uh, looks really nice so as you can see you get the basic monsters like Enchant and en um, enchanted man evil chicken chaos elemental like these are basic um, starter methods to get a lot of money real quick so as you can see when i go to the enchanted man they are right here you can actually examine them and see what you can get as a drop so from this you can actually get a bunch of enchanted chests and enchanted keys at the 25% drop rate you can also get like a bunch of cash from these so these are a really good money making um, method to begin with you can also access the teleports by just clicking on the home thing um, and then you have these others then of course you have a bunch of skilling teleports like Ardoin, mining and smithing, slayer, woodcutting, fishing, agility, thieving and stores then you have the wilderness teleports of course and then you have a bunch of boss as you can see um, they also announced this one it's a new added newly added boss so as you can see you have the corp next revenants falling beat sunfried blink heart aiken which is a new one i'll show that in a second um, then you also have like mini game teleports for like dicing and stuff they have um, scam safe dicing i'll go over that in a minute but as you can see if you go to heart aiken we are at this zone which actually looks really nice um, and oh actually the owner is right here i didn't know that but if you examine the hard aiken as you can see it can drop a fluorescence full cyrenic uh, melee set illuminescence the fire wings and demon horn boots fire so yeah that's very nice anyways another thing to show off real quick is this custom tab right here you can actually go to the home area get yourself some venge runes switch your um, spell book or um prayer book right here but you can also get uh, make a ticket if you need some help or you can actually set up your presets right here in this custom interface which is really nice so you can um, actually set up this preset and then save it i don't have anything but yeah of course you can do that you can also um, get it up once you have it done but as you can see i don't have anything um, but you can also check uh, the prayer book and the spell book um, of your presets so yeah that is very nice you can make such cool custom presets now besides that you can also just type the Kong Kong gear to actually get your stuff as you can see you can get a Derek set for 10 mil you can get teleport pack these I don't know what the teleport pack is oh you get a bunch of runes okay that's actually pretty nice um, but I do need to bank my items real quick and then I will um, do that so um, let's do this real quick and if we do the melee setup as you can see you get the basic setup but if you go to the um, interface where you can check out your stats you actually can check out the stats of the um, separate pieces of armor so that is really nice as well as you can see you can see all the attack and defense bonuses um, so yeah that's really nice now on most 667s you can't actually click on the skills but if you click on the skills you can actually see the milestone levels which you can now do um, you can also if you are not leveling up of course check out everything on the skill um, on the scaling if you click on it so um, yeah that's something you don't see in a lot of custom 667 so that is really nice now besides that as you can see right here on the top you actually have like this progress bar which looks really cool in my opinion I actually love this like quite a lot so um, yeah you can see the progress you are doing up on the next level um, and yeah I'm gaining a lot of progress right now so yeah I think this is a really nice feature as well another cool thing you can do is actually check other players progress so if you see a player and you want to check how good he is you can actually view the stats of that certain player so as you can see um, he right now has level 1 mining 1 smithing 61 agility 99 thieving 
So you can actually check out his stats. Now besides that, you can also check out his equipment. So that is very nice. Now another thing you have is actually Venge timers and Barrage timers and stuff. So if you call Vengeance, you can actually see right here at the bot uh, at the top left corner that you can see the timers counting down of when uh, the Vengeance will be over. You have the same with Overload and all that good stuff. So yeah, that is very nice. Now if you actually go to the Die Zone, which is what I want to show off next, you actually have the Anti-Scam um, Die Zone which is really cool so there is a custom interface that you can do when you are a host um, I cannot show it because I am not a host but um, yeah with that interface you actually have scam safe dicing which works really smoothly so that is very nice now of course because this is a 667 RSPS there is also a PKing side to this server um, there is also a high risk arena where it all go to to fight with PK which is the moderator on the server so you can access the arena by just clicking arena and then clicking on go um, at the global teleports once you are here you have a healer which will heal basically everything a bank chest and then you can go through this door which uh, will allow you to enter in this arena and once you get in there um, you are basically attackable by everyone and you will lose every single item in your inventory so nothing is safe um, that's why of course it's called the high risk arena now I'm going to do one fight with PK here so hopefully I do not die and um, yeah I can actually manage to win something and using protect item is pointless um, but yeah let's go and uh, hopefully we will wreck him so um, yeah good luck man it's been super long since I pk so I did not expect to win uh, anything at all I will be using my timers as you can see in the top left corner right there to check when I can use vengeance stuff and um, okay I just need to watch out because I know how dangerous um, PKing can be on a, a 667 RSPS with Darox. So, um, yeah, hopefully, I can uh, get a nice combo in with the claws in a second, though. Here we go. Oh, misclicks, man. Okay, risk it at low HP, and ooh, oh, I have no Venge. Ooh, okay, I survived that. Come on, X. And oh, another big X, but um, yeah, didn't, ma didn't manage to kill him with that. Oh, he's uh, using the claws, eat up. Okay, managed to save, um, survive there, that's good. Got like one more spec left. Okay, let's go in for an axe. And, oof. Damn, that's so close, man. Okay, I thought he was going in for an axe, so I tried to venge there. Didn't have vengeance, though. Okay, uh, 600 HP, that's fine. Just need to get like a nice claw spec in in a moment once I hit very high with the whip, please. No, I said a high hit, come on. Uh might need to, yeah, okay, I'll eat up there. 568 HP, that's like a risky HP number to sit at. Okay, go. Oh, that's a 1 XP claw spike, that sucks. Oh, that's terrible, man. Can I venge up? Okay, I can't. I think I'm still venge from my lost vengeance, so um, that's good. And, okay, right there, eat it. Oh, that could have been deadly. If I hit him there on his vengeance, I would have died. So, um, yeah, that was a close call. But, uh, oh, that was a low hit on his vanish, that's good. Um, I just want to get, like, a bit lower HP so I can get, like, a nice axe. Ah, uh, I thought he was going in for the next there. Damn it. Now I'm vanished to, uh, yeah, hopefully... Oh, I think he's out of food. Yeah, good fight, man. All right, so we are going in for round two. Let's see if we can uh, manage to get him this time around. Hopefully we can. I'm going to put it on Lash so I get, like, the strength claws, which would be great. I'm going to eat up there because I don't want to get shot at in the beginning of the fight. Uh, oh, that was a bit of a save, my bad there. But, uh, oh, oh, I might have cooked myself. Okay, I didn't. Okay, it's good. We're still good. Um, I should have a vengeance now and... Okay, I'm gonna put my claws here. If I get one more big whip hit, I can go in for a claw spec. Uh, so the big whip hit. I'm like sitting at 577 HP, so that's pretty close. Uh, I can get axed pretty easily. Um, okay, I venged too soon there. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, damn. If my axe would have hit and then he would have hit my venge, that would have been great. That's how I wanted it to turn out. Okay, that's good. Come on. Ah, oh, shitty specs. Damn, okay, I want I want like a huge claw spec so I can manage to uh, kill him in a second so I can pick up his juicy lutations, yes. And I am very sorry for the card that's about to pass, you will probably hate it. But yeah, I, I, um, I'm doing this live comment. Ooh, man, that's way too close. And he was venged. If he wasn't venged, I would've, oh, I would've, uh, axed him. Oh, damn, he's raping me right now, man. Damn, okay. 
We are back. That was close, man. He red bought me like a few times. Did he DC? Oh no, he didn't. I think he thought that he killed me. Come on. Claws. Ooh, huge claws. Come on, come on, X. Finish. Oh, we didn't finish it with X. Damn, that was a huge claw spike. Damn, okay. Um, that was like our best shot, I think. Oh, overload ran out. Okay, going to do the same real quick. Should be do, uh, done with this in a second. And, um, yeah, here we go. Back to fighting. Oh, damn, I'm, I'm kind of uh, salty about that, man. That was such a huge claw spike. Why didn't the axe finish it off? Sucks, man. Oh, okay. Let's, uh... Oh, I should have waited with the Venge. Oh, I should have waited with the Venge until he pulled out the axe. That was a big mistake, but yeah. Uh, his axe didn't even hit. Not like it matters that much. Oh, that was a, a nice risk there. I'm almost out of food, so uh, hopefully I didn't die here. Like, I just want one big axe KO. It's not going to happen like this, man. Come on. Okay, here we go. Risk it hit. Uh, zero, man. Need to get like a high hit. I am uh, out of food basically, so I have to run out in a second. Don't want this to happen, to be honest. Come on. Oh, I missed, I missed that so badly. Come on. Risk it, risk it, risk it. Oh, good fight, man. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, definitely make sure to smash that subscribe button and smash that like button as well. Also, don't forget to enter the Twisted Bow giveaway. This is a $100 item in the donation store, so this is a pretty big giveaway. Now, anyways, that will be it for this video, so I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.